Um, Regina versus Saskatoon. In Winners Regina. finals. Three, yeah. two, These one, two, uh, I can say pretty confidently I've seen them play each other a lot. They're part of a small group of very, very great players who practice uh, at the weeklies together. Uh, that being Zade Benji, as well as familiar faces like King Saki, DC Dub, uh, Bizwig, uh, who the other three, the reason they're not competing is because they're PR players. Yeah. Uh, these two have been, Zade especially, fringe PR for a long time. He actually was PR one time. Yes, uh, maybe 10th or, or he was honorable tenth. mention. Yeah. yeah. Uh, his Mario, though, uh, extremely uh, well versed in, uh, and uh, experienced. Yeah. But this Pika is, uh, you know, people say Pika's hard to hit. Yeah. Denji's Pika is the reason people say that. Yeah. Uh, so elusive and, and uh, is known just for living forever. But Zay also known for taking stocks really early. So yeah. I'm excited to see how this goes. I don't really know what their head to head is like, but I know they played a lot. Yeah. I don't know the their head to head, I just know the matchup is actually very even. Yeah. By both by both characters. Because uh because of this exact scenario where Mario's at hundred and Pikachu has to hit hit him with his face. Yeah, and we see um Pikachu just traditionally struggles with brawler type characters. Yeah. Does fine with sorties, zoners, all that uh, kind of jazz. Uh, but we see a little scrap here going on in the corner. Zade uh, in the driver's seat here. Opts for a downer and gets hit out of shield. And a thunder is oh. going to take that stock there. We see a little string going from Benji here. A little bit of nair loops going on here. Yeah. Dash tag from Pikachu going to send Mario off stage. But Zade with a fireball in back air is going to put Pikachu in a very tough position. He capes, <laughs> capes the skull bash, and Pikachu still makes it back because yeah. it's Pikachu. He gets the back air. Does get the back air, though. That's very, very frustrating uh, to play against uh, any character who especially prioritizes edge guarding. Mm. Um, when you see Pikachu, when you hit them twice off stage and they're yeah. still making it back <laughs> so easily, it back, yeah. it's like, shoot, now i got to play another mini game on the ledge here. We lost the feed, so I'm going to take a little extra time. All right. Are we still live? Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to get the feedback, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're like the radio right now. <laughs> yeah. What's the stock? Are they both at two? Uh, I think. They're both at two at, like, red percent. Yeah. Close game. Okay. Close Zade's game. off stage in the corner here. Does make it out, though. The sharing center stage here. Both just looking to poke. Benji gets something started here. And oh. dash attacks with sparks, but doesn't kill. Zade in the corner again. Doesn't know how to get out. Rolls, and now they're back to a scrap. Very spaghetti. Ooh. Very stuck in the center. Dash attack is going to take yeah. that stock. It's now two stocks to one for Benji. Uh, Benji, though, above 100%. With Pikachu, that's kill percent for most Mario aerials. Strong back air. Or maybe I'm so wrong. <laughs> probably probably just strong back air. Just strong back <laughs> yeah, air. Yeah, strong back air will kill right now. Strong back air, maybe a, uh, a jump uh, down air or something like that. Uh, could put Pikachu in a bad position. We got oh. four Pikachu back airs in a row here. Uh, does make it back, oh, though, somehow. That's gets, the classic. Gets spiked. Good tech, good tech. Tech. Uh, yeah, gets spiked by the thunder but techs it underneath Pokemon Stadium and lives uh, to tell the tale. Zade, uh, despite uh, you know, seeing his life flash before his eyes there, is uh, still not in a horrible spot here. Just needs to get the stock off of Benji really badly here. He is uh, just maximizing uh, the second stock here. I really think this matchup is going to come down to who gets the kills easier. Yeah. Both of them don't necessarily have one perfect. Oh, we got it up here. That's nice. Dash attack is going to take it, and now we are on last stock here. That lo long, Mario's long-lasting dash attack is really nice in this matchup. Yes. 
I'm surprised he didn't go to a stage where he could go underneath it to avoid the two frame. I bet you we'll see that uh, if he counterpicks to a better stage. You see Benji kind of miss a read there on the air dodge and tries to cape the yeah. up B, but waits just long enough. Benji now with the grab, back throws Mario way off stage, recovers low, gets through. Oh, and now Mario F smash has put Benji in a, in a very tight spot here and doesn't quite make the angle. A hard fought game one for Zade. Okay, we should be able to get the stream back up now. All right, you see them both taking a second, just contemplating what game two is going to hold. While we also fix stream, I think Carter's directing them to just hold on a second. Yeah. Is that me that's making that noise? No, I think it's... It's just like random audio crackle? I think so, yeah. Cool. As long as it doesn't turn into like a scream. <laughs> yeah. Unfor yeah. Unfortunately, it happens as soon as the top eight starts. Yeah, we are having some technical difficulties. For those listening, Yep. Um, we are... To the Draco and Sham podcast. Yeah, we are in the midst of fixing it. Um, so, yeah, I want, I want you to tell me about how your run felt today. How my you, run? My did you... Did you uh, is it what you expected? Is, uh, is it a sign of good to come in the future? Because obviously we've seen you carving a name for yourself in, the, in Sask Smash for the last, what, two or so years? Yeah, something since, like that. Since online, like, or since, since the pandemic, yeah, your name has been one that stuck out as someone who's pushing Sask Smash forward. Yep. So today, placing top eight in the Arcadian, how are you feeling in general? Uh, I want to do better, honestly. I, I, I didn't feel like uh, I did the best. Uh, I lost to Krogunk, and I beat him last few times, so mm -hmm. I want to beat him. Oh, we're back. Great. Sweet. We don't have to talk about my boring run. Okay, no, one more. If you could replay one set from today, yep. would it be It would be Krogunk. Krogunk? Yeah. I think I played player pretty solidly. I just choked game five against Krogunk. I choked, like, three of the games. I just miss inputting a lot more, too. And when you miss input against Kha'Zia, you just die instantly, so. Yeah, yeah. Like if I miss a tech or something. It is uh, definitely uh, sad to see you at seventh, uh, if you wanted to do better. But overall, definitely a strong performance today. It's not bad. It's OK. Get the cool animation I going I love here. this animation. It's so sick. I like the Mario thumbs up. It yeah. just puts me in a good mood. Yeah, I love it. But we see Benji opt for Smashville here. Uh, if, uh, so I think a big reason, so this is one thing you just stage because it's so easy to go underneath the stage and then they won't be able to go for the two frame. Because you just side B underneath the stage in the middle and then they can't cover both sides at once and you just up B to the side they can't two frame. So uh, like I play Wolf and two frame Pikachu is really good as Wolf but not on any stages where you can go underneath. Yeah. So I think we're going to see that right away as soon as Benji gets off stage. And uh, Sage literally won last last game because he was getting those two frames. So I was gonna say too, he would have lost the game had that thunder spiked him, yep. uh, and he didn't have a place to tech like here on Smashville. He was able to tech off the roof and recover. Now maybe he could do it on Smashville, but um, definitely I think a little more consistent, a little easier on Stadium. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, overall we'll see how this goes. Zaid, uh, from what I know, has been extremely focused on his Regina matchups. So I, I honestly see him confidently uh, moving through this game. He's down a stock and playing almost no different. He's going in a little more, but uh, as Mario, that's not always the worst thing. Yeah. Being able to just grab a straight hit. Yeah, uh, be ready for the Thunder, for sure. If he could just drop it down there, there's just a good chance it's going to be a Thunder. I think he might have tried to cape that one, but a little too slow. I like that fireball movement. We are also yet to see Benji take a stock off of an edge guard. Zade's been recovering really, really well so far. Yeah, Mario up some characters mess with it pretty bad, but Pikachu kind of has to hit the down air spike, because otherwise the up will just beat Pikachu Nair, will beat Pikachu fair a lot of times, because it's just so fast and soon on reaction when you see Pikachu coming close. So what I, what I want to see is just Benji maybe committing a little harder, trying to 
uh, you know, stuff an edge guard before it turns into the up B, uh, 50 50. Yeah. Or up B minigame. Mar Mario's air drift is very good, though, so a lot of times you just don't have the time. But I, I do agree with what you're saying. Like, if, if he gets Mario to like, the higher percent, he will have time to go. Or we saw him like, string some back airs together and put him deep off stage. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We'll see if he can recreate any scenarios like that. Right now, Zade, uh, not necessarily looking like he's going to win the game. Benji looking like he's in a lot of control, but Zade's still landing a lot of hits, getting a lot of neutral wins. Uh, and kind of letting Benji know that, yeah, this game didn't go my way, but yeah. I'm still very confident in so, the remainder of the set. Yeah, because you go from behind, right? Yeah. That time he didn't mix up his side, but he could have. That's the idea behind it. I know Ace does it a ton. Yeah. Benji definitely very sharp with the anti airs, not letting Mario empty hop at all. That's how I tell when Pikachu's are playing good is when they hit those uppers, because it's a very good move, but it's like, you only get 4% on it, so you have to be, but it's like so good at the same time, so when Pikachu's are conscious enough to be patient enough to be like, just hitting you out of the air. On reaction like that yeah. too. Yeah, you can do it on reaction, yeah, so that's how I know they're playing sharp. Okay, goes oh, for the uh, ledge trump. trump. Didn't mess up the back air. Might have input a jump twice. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. yeah, the fireball was was a bit greedy of a landing, but he didn't have a ton of options at that point. Yeah. Double and you've seen fireball work for him quite a few times in yeah. these first two games. So yeah. that time Benji was just a little too close. Yeah. You, I would definitely hope that he's not kind of getting into a comfortable position where he's like, well, I'll just throw out a fireball and I'll probably be fine. Uh, because Benji will capitalize uh, like he just did. Zade won on PS2, and then he's going to ban Battlefield here, so they're going to go small Battlefield. Okay. Stop battle. Well, uh, pro controllers enter the chat here. <laughs> Pikachu! Mario! We also see Zade switch back to his original Mario color. Was rocking the Mario Odyssey... What's that? The wedding? The, the wedding, wedding one, suit? yeah. But he's going back to his classic... This is, this is the Zade Mario yeah. right here, yeah. One! Go! Yahoo! Nice strength. Definitely not like a standard peak strength, but you can it work. Tell me if you're seeing this too. I feel like I'm seeing Zade, you know, in, in game two, obviously he had to approach for basically the whole game. Yeah. But now since this game has started, I've seen his neutral look a little greedy. Kind of like he's trying to force the issue a little bit too much. I've always found that to be, oh, I, lo I love his patience, waiting for the cape to happen and then doing the mm. upbeat. Uh, I think that's, that's, that's Zade's biggest weakness is when I fight him. Uh, I'll just, if I, if I wait like a tiny bit, I could always bait him a little bit into, into being too aggressive. And I feel like as Mario, your general game plan is you have to slowly corner them. Yeah. A lot of the time, and then and then force them with your with your with your big hitboxes or not big hitboxes, the brawler hitboxes. Right now, it is working out for him though. It he is. is scaring Benji off the ledge, and. Yes. Ooh. Spaghetti, yeah, okay. definitely. <laughs> I, I feel like spaghetti like that just isn't Mario's favorite most of the time. Yeah. They both have fast buttons on the ground, but Mario's are going to set up pretty well. You might be right. Pikachu does have some good buttons in this kind of situation. Like being able to instant dash attack as Pikachu is yeah, good, yeah. but if you're right next to each other like this, that's it's just going to whip. Or uh, Whereas Mario, jab, down tilt, nair, down air, back air, up tilt. Uh, it all feels very oppressive, like it will string into whatever move he is going for if it's not already the one he wants. Both of them opting for a lot of ledge jump, uh, and I think that's indicative of how much they played each other. And yeah. they, you know, in a in a situation where they stay on the ledge, they're not finding a lot of success. So both of them are opting to play pretty aggressive. Air dodge out on Benji here. Oh, grab traits. One of my least favorite parts of the game. Uh, <laughs> I really dislike crab trades. Uh, but we see both of them playing patient here. Zade no longer seeming to force the issue. Yeah. But that's not to say that Benji is not getting the job done here. Uh, attacking on lots of damage here. Yeah. Pikachu that's not 
the easiest part of this game plan, but uh, definitely nice, keeping up there. Oh, it didn't get the kill, though. Called out the second or third neutral get up in a row. Yeah. Uh, and for the astute ones, that's four right there. Oh, Clearly, Zade wanting uh, as much, as many frames as he can uh, of advantage. Uh, and could be why he's on the neutral get up. Very, very quick uh, on the roll. I don't know if that was a read or reaction, but either way, Zade. Uh, puts the stock count in his favor. This, this, this matchup really is who gets the kill. The kill is most important part. Both these characters can get the damage, but they, they both need to find that one kill. And it can be awkward for both of them. Except for... Oh! Not quite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure with the rage. I, it didn't seem like it, but Mario's rage scares me. 66 is a lot for a lightweight like Pikachu. Yeah. Now 84. Now this is the part, yeah, I was gonna say, where Zade wasn't that uh, excited to hold center stage, and it did end up costing him a stock, but he got more than enough extra credit. That late nair looked fantastic, looked yeah. for another one there. Those and now... Those <laughs> mini hitboxes are so good against Pikachu. If you get any trade, with quick attack with like them trying to swing with forward air, it'll trade because Pikachu's not very disjointed. This could be big for Benji here, no jump. There we go. Zade's back. Every time you trade with those multi hits, you just win. So it's so good. Oh, no grab. Hey, Benji's a little nervous. Ooh, that's an interesting Nice, that's the air. Great oh, DI okay. on the Pikachu back air to set himself up really great for that. Oh, that'll and be a quick there. turnaround off yeah. that dash attack. That's the classic right there. Dash attack into, into turnaround grab. That's like yeah. my favorite thing to do on ledge. <laughs> yeah. Especially with those dash attacks that last really nice yeah. and long on ledge. Yeah. Uh, but with little end lag, because they have so many active frames. Uh, Zayn is going on a quite a run today. I, didn't, I definitely did not expect him to cook this hard. He, no, I didn't write it down. Yeah. So you can call me out on this all you want. Was my pick to win the Arcadian. Okay, okay. He, and it's not that I looked at the bracket and I thought, well, he's going to win this and yep. he might lose this. Pikachu, it's more just Mario. like the work and the seriousness that he is putting into Ultimate right now. Yep. Kind of pales in comparison to... Uh, the players that he practices with, and the players that are ranked higher than him. Now, this is all to say, <laughs> we're only on game four. But I do have faith in Zayn. Okay, so this this is a stage I'm a little surprised that Zayn didn't ban. Because I, I think it's probably Pikachu's best stage. Um, he loves doing the T-drills from those platforms on the side. Uh, he's a big stage to, to allow him to like get behind the T-Jolt and then it's the same thing as Nashville where he gets to go underneath the stage with the, with the recovery and then avoid the two frames really well. Not to mention those killing problems where um, Pikachu has a lot of moves that kills off the side like a back air or forward air and Mario has more moves that kill off the top or spike or something like that. This is very interesting to me because we've seen the FD now for about 8-10 seconds and the game plan from Benji has not really changed. It revolves heavily around Tijol and trying to catch Zade getting greedy. And Zade is perfectly content to play the same game. He's up a game in the set and... They both, they both do and there's like... Uh, my favorite analogy for Tijol is uh, it's a League of Legends minion <laughs> where they just have to set up their minions before they can go and attack the other guy. And they're both setting up their minions right now. Yes. Yeah. This could connected? be tough here. Can you hear Josh? I can't hear Josh. Yeah. First stock is going to go in Benji's favor. Now we can see his game plan really uh, go into effect here. He's going to switch up uh, which side he's on. Say, despite all this, though, I is. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. I feel like down air from Pico would have killed, but he didn't get it out. His first supporter didn't hit it at all. Ooh. I'm always so scared when Mario hits that, that low back air because it's so safe and the, the up smash, you know, is, is coming if you try to grab it or mess yeah. up. Set up the minions again. 
I definitely don't see Zayd playing very differently based on the state of the game right now, and I think that's a good thing. I think he would... We, we talk about Zayd getting a little overzealous, a little overexcited in a lot of uh, advantage states, but he is holding it together right now and looking strong. 109 and 130 is really, uh, to me, essentially the same. <laughs> this is crazy. This game, this is why I was so unsure about Town City. Because look at Pikachu. Like, Mario can kind of fight back, but this, is, this stage is really good for Pikachu, like I said. Oh. Living uh, a dash attack definitely stale a little here. But uh, Teach Ult, uh, every, for every Teach Ult that hits. Yeah. Uh, oh. Mario has to play uh, my favorite minigame in Ultimate. Oh, oh he didn't finally. Wait that time. He's yeah. been trying to get that the entire set on game four. Yeah. We see the first uh, cape on a Pikachu recovery. And now the stocks are even. Uh, Zade might be the first person in top eight to lift to 200%. We'll have to see. I love the team. Oh, you did? Yeah. And, and also, a player lifted 200 against me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh. Now the stock is finally done. I was gonna say that's my favorite Pikachu mini game where uh, once you get to like 160, 170 against the Pikachu, you have to avoid the grab and the oh. dash attack. That moving platform playing a little. Oh. Zayd quitting out on game four. I think he might have accidentally oh, paused and then he just was like. In his mash, in his STI. Yeah, he might have accidentally paused it and been like, "Well, there's my stock," you know. Yeah. He might have taken his own stock, so. Regardless, that's very, very interesting. Game five. We're not going back to town, thank God. Stop the battle. There's um. Okay. Stop the battle. Pikachu. Mario. Another game five. Mm -hmm. These are close. Yes, I think even if uh, Zay did quit out, um, we saw him kind of exhaust himself on game two when the game was already kind of over with Benji up three stocks to one early on. Is he dead? No, oh, okay. Uh, so if he's quitting out and saving his stamina for game five, I don't totally hate it. I don't really like quit outs. I don't, I don't think that's what happened. I think he must have accidentally paused. Yeah, but trying can. to SDI yeah. maybe or something yeah. like that. I think something like that. Or is the pause, do you use a pro controller? No. I think the pause is on the right side. Yeah, it is. So I don't know how he would have got the pause. I'm not sure. Well, we'll have to ask him after what happened, I guess. Yeah. Maybe, you know what? He might have been just tilted from, from the town and city. Dude, details. I I could see it, man. Yeah, you, I think you might be right about that. Because on, yeah, like I said, on game two, he Benji was up two stocks and just opted to teach ult to win the game. Like, like made it a very unwinnable scenario. Yeah. And Zayd played the entire thing out and like made it close, got a couple stocks. Um, and maybe she doesn't have enough in the tank to do that for game two and game four while trying to win this set. Uh, regardless, this first stock is going to decide a lot because we've seen yeah. Benji's play st uh, style shift a lot. Is that it? Yeah. Nice. Flood. Really, we see we've seen a lot of floods at this set, but that was easily the most uh, be yeah beneficial flood, most important flood. And this is maybe starting to be a trend where these B moves that Zayd has been using are finally starting to pay off. Great patience uh, by Benji there. You know, not giving up on his strategy of I'm going to flood, I'm going to keep Pikachu away, I'm going to go Kate Pikachu when they're going low. Yeah. Uh, and we see that pay off now in game four and game five. Uh, truly, really uh, great confidence from Zayd. I think that's, that's really good. And. Okay, if you're the Mario in this situation, yep. how much extra credit is is ideal for you on Pikachu? Like, you can't take the stock, but you need to do percent. I think the extra credit he got is already ideal, and all I'm doing right now is is I'm making him I'm making him grab me. That's yeah, what I'm doing. I'm exactly. And I'm making him grab me. And jumping away, trying to stay out of range of, yeah. No way dash attack is going to hit me. Up throw? Not nope. quite. I feel like back throw could have been close. Maybe. Just on the positioning. Good 
patience on that back air. Last time he was a little bit nervous and he didn't air, but that time he just waited and killed. I think that's definitely the play. Zade might think about that next time, though. Nice little zone breaking moment there from Benji. Um, ooh, I think he read that, but he just didn't get the great grab. Probably going to see him throw a few more back airs out here. It's, a, it's the dash attack grab game for the game yeah. right now. Slash forward air. Forward air will kill now from most places on the stage. Ooh. Does get the ledge refresh because the T-Jolt hit Yeah. Okay. No, no. Zade opting to threaten back air there, shooting a backwards fireball. Yeah, he finally gets throw at 200% will kill. Oh, good call out. Going for another one. Yeah, using his invincibility wow. well. Zade's and I think, so well. I think Zade is acknowledging too that Benji is playing more afraid than he is. Uh, there's, there's a lot of hesitation and a few miss inputs we're seeing from Benji. And Zade probably clocked that and uh, adjusted his, what he's going for in neutral. Big string there from Benji. Um, 65 on Mario is, is a lot. That up smash, you know, catch the roll. Really important that Benji out of there. This could be... Yeah, if Benji is somehow able to take the stock first, he is, he's making the most of the second one here. Yeah, exactly. He's even up the game. Oh, that dash tech's big. Gonna push him away. Nope. Waits. He doesn't go underneath. I feel like he's going underneath. Oh! Oh, he gets out of the corner, though. So he gets back and forth. I feel like Burn I'm, the air dodge. I'm thinking sure I'm going underneath. Oh! Catches the roll again, yeah. That's one of those things. When you see a player in that kind of nervous, Mind space. You're gonna watch rolls off of ledge. It's Zade's very common. Oh, and a single uh, zap is gonna uh, end the set. For such a competitive set, that's not really how I would have wanted to see it end. But overall, yeah, strong that, performance from Zay. Another great five banger, though, except yeah. for the ending. But yeah, no, it honestly was a great set for both of them. Uh, and we see Zade uh, secure a top three spot, move on to winners finals again.